Hello everybody, this is Angel Arts, and today I have a really huge box next to me because I'm doing another unboxing video. And based on the title below, you probably already know or have a great idea what is already inside this box. So um, I am a huge fan of Final Fantasy, more specifically the more classic Final Fantasies, and by classic I mean the Super NES, uh, PlayStation 1 Final Fantasies, um, final up through, pretty much all up through Final Fantasy 10. Up through 10, I am a huge fan. And Final Fantasy 7 is arguable, arguable, probably, um, probably the most well-known or famous of the Final Fantasies. Um, just because that was a huge leap, um, in advancement, jumping from the gameplay and presentation of the Final Fantasies in the Super Nintendo and before, jumping to the PlayStation 1, the characters um, are iconic. Cloud, Sephiroth, the story was great, the premise was great. It was just an amazing, amazing game. And for so many years, people have been clamoring for a, f a, a remastered remake, a whole like completely uh, updated remake of this game pretty much ever since um, the PS3. Um, and it took a long time for Square to realize, dude, we can make a heck of a lot of money on this. And which is fine, I don't care. I don't care if this is a big cash grab. I threw so much money at them because this is just something that myself and so many fans just were, um, were hungering for and so um it is actually we are if you're watching this in the future uh we are in the midst of the corona coronavirus covid as well is what it's known and so i have it's actually a great time i'm i think that this arriving was very timely because a lot of people are stuck at home this certainly gives i'm sure many fans something else to do while they're stuck at home i actually took uh the following week off from work just so I could relax because seriously I do need to take a vacation from all of this quarantining at home even though I'm gonna be at home but I'm gonna be at home playing Final Fantasy 7 remake which is amazing and um, the massive massive massivity the massiveness of this box I was shocked at how large this was this is the first class edition which is the edition above the collector's edition. It's basically like collector's edition on steroids. Um, and I didn't expect it to be this massive. Like I've gotten other collector's edition games before, uh, like Dragon Age, Inquisition, and Mass Effect. But this one, take a look. This is huge. This is huge. And some of you might be wondering, why is this collector's edition so huge? and others might know exactly why, and I know exactly what is taking up most of this space, because it's certainly not the game that's taking up most of this space. But I didn't expect it to be this big. <laughs> Color me pleasantly surprised. So anyway, I don't want to like tell you what is included, I wanted to show you, hence the whole point of an unboxing video. So if you excuse me, I am going to attempt to do this as smoothly as I can without stabbing myself. Yeah, that's a good idea, Hart. Cut towards you. Aim the blade towards you. Yeah, this is not... Do not do this at home, ladies and gentlemen. This is not the right way. But I'm just at a very weird angle trying to record and open this box at the same time. So... Okay, you know what? I'm going to put this on the floor because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, so there's a lot, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, all right, so let's start with the smaller. I'm not really sure. When I ordered the first class, I, see the thing is, I, there's one piece of this first class that I think really makes it stand out. And I don't re honestly remember everything else that was included into it. I know that there's like in-game stuff. Like I think you get a, you get an extra materia summon or something like Carbuncle. I think it's Carbuncle. I'm not really sure, but um, 
I was very excited uh, to get other things. But first of all, oh, oh, this is beautiful. This, this is beautiful. Look at how thick this thing is. And I don't know if you can see, but this, there's a, there's a shimmer. There's like a, it's like a hollow foil, hollow foil shimmer to this box. But this is the deluxe edition because the first class edition includes the deluxe edition plus a whole hunkin other bunch of stuff. So I'm trying not to like damage the packaging. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is, ooh, that is so reminiscent to the original, like this positioning of Cloud um, watching like one of the Shinra, Shinra Tower. And, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. They did a fantastic job, in my opinion, um, just rendering all of the characters and just bringing them to life um, in this generation's, by this generation's like graphical standard. So I am so excited to see these characters um, in the flesh, per se, like in the game, digitally in the flesh. Um, because um, I personally did not, I made it a point to not watch any of the sneak previews. I saw one trailer, like a very, very early trailer. Uh, uh, and also there have been a lot of like play through trailers uh, or sneak preaks and interviews. And I purposely did not watch any of them because I wanted to experience the game blindly for the first time as much as possible. I wanted to, all of my reactions. Yes, I am gonna let's play this game. If some of you are wondering, yes, I am definitely let's playing this game. And I wanted to experience everything for the first time and react to it accordingly. So look at that. Um, Cactor, I got my Cactor summoning material. I think that comes with um, the download, add download exclusive. I think that comes with the, um, with a deluxe edition. Um, play art, oh my goodness. So there's a bunch of really cool like figurines you can get. Um, but yeah, PS4, there's the disc. If place disc two, so there's two discs. Cool, awesome. Well, I'm going to get that loaded because um, I think It'll probably need to download some updates and all that good stuff. Oh, this code actually does expire. It expires in 2030. So I have 10 years to use this code, apparently, for Cactor. That's kind of awesome. Um, other things, it comes with a mini soundtrack, which I love the music. Um, it comes with a beautiful art book. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Barrett, you sexy beast. Um, I don't want to, like, bore you by- oh, Eris is so cute. Oh, adolescent cloud! I didn't realize there was an adolescent cloud in here! That is so cute. I had a crazy crush on- on Reno. No surprise, the ginger- really? Really, Angel Arts? You had a crush on the redhead? Really? The ginger? Oh my goodness, what a surprise! Vincent's not in here. I was looking to see if there was a Vincent. At least I don't think Vincent was in here. That's okay. We'll figure that out. I'm not even. I don't even think Vincent is in, um, is in the game yet because they're doing it episodically. From what I remember, they're doing it episodically. Okay, cool. So it comes with a jewel case, like a very fancy jewel case that you can put your discs in. So I love that. That is beautiful. It also comes with this beautiful lanyard. Um, this Final Fantasy lanyard that has Eris and Tifa, Cloud, and then Barrett is behind this tag thing, but Barrett's there. Um, which is awesome, because I actually need a new lanyard, personally, because I use them for my keys. Um, that's amazing! Alright, now... Now comes... I seriously did not expect this to be as huge. I seriously did not expect this to be as huge. This this is worth it. This is like you ha you don't understand. 
the first class edition um, was not cheap. It was like, I almost want to say $300. Yeah, I think this was $300. Um, and I understand 100% that that's probably a little too much for a lot of people for spending to a game. And honestly, I wasn't even sure I was even gonna let's play this game um, because I knew it was gonna arrive when, by the time that I would have just become a dad because my son is now six months and I was worried that I was just gonna be too busy with dad things in order to play. So I, but I thought I wanted to buy this anyway and get the Ultimate Edition, not just because I wanted to throw money at Square, but you know what? It is because, it is because I wanted to throw money at Square. And and I, I say that because this is a game that, I, as I said, we have wanted for so long. Fans have wanted this for so long. And based on what I saw from the trailers, it sounds like they were trying really hard to deliver what the fans expected out of this game and wanted out of this game and so i wanted to award them i wanted to say to tell the them thank you um for doing this because um i think it could have they could have uh sent brought this out sooner and not making us wait for so long but credit where credit is due um i wanted to support them for releasing this game because it means so much to a lot of people, including myself. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is amazing. I actually wanna keep the, this is, so, the packaging for this is really well done. And I'm glad because they know this is not a, this is a collector's item. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. It's upside down. So this is from Final Fantasy VII Play Arts. Action figure. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I don't wanna like mess up the packaging too much. But I am so excited for this. Oh yes. Oh, yes! If any of you have not actually experienced the game, I'm sorry, but this is a little bit spoilerish, but it's okay. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, this is Cloud and his motorcycle. Isn't that amazing? You can see that his sword, the Buster Sword, the Buster Sword's right there. Um, and you can see that he has... Okay, so I, the thing is, I don't want to... I want to be really careful, because I don't want to um, damage anything, but oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That's Cloud. I had s such a crush on Cloud, <laughs> and now I have an action figure version of him. That is so cool. Um, it looks like he has gloves. I don't want to take it out, but he has gloves here that I guess you can mix and match. That is really awesome. I am so impressed by this. Look at all the detail. Um, Oh, dude, this is like a letter opener. This looks like, you know, a dagger for a, a for an actual life, real life size person. But this is, in fact, the sword that goes with this man. And it is, everything about that is just amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. I am in awe at the quality of this, actually. I am so in awe. Um, I want to put that back in there. Go back in there, Buster Sword. I don't want you to... And then... Oh. Woo! Careful, careful, careful. Do the wheels... The wheels actually spin. The wheels actually... Look at that. My baby wanted to see this too. 
<laughs> no, but seriously, the detail of this. The, all the little details, like, I'm, I don't, I'm afraid to, like, poke and prod at anything because I don't want anything to fall apart. But I think some of this stuff actually does move a little by design. But I, again, I don't want to, like, poke and prod it too much. But I'm just, I'm just so, like, there's, this is so satisfying, like, knowing that these wheels spin. This is amazing. And unfortunately, it's one of those things where I don't even know how often I'm actually going to take it out of its packaging because I'm so afraid that it's going to get destroyed. Um, this is like, it's one of those things that for the time being, until my children are old enough, or if I'm able to like lock this away in some sort of case, um, that um, I uh, would probably keep it safe in the packaging and just be satisfied knowing that I have it physically and maybe not just being able to display it is perfectly fine until I can re realistically do that without worrying about um, it getting damaged. So, oh my goodness. So that was the unboxing of the Final Fantasy VII Remake First Class Edition. I hope that um, you guys enjoyed that and for those of you who are interested in seeing me actually experience the game for the first time blind proper, um, I'll start uh, releasing videos on my channel very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again Square Enix for making this game possible. Thank you to all the fans who pushed and prodded and pressured Square to finally create this, what I hope is going to be a masterpiece of a game. I hope it is. Um, from what I've seen so far, it's very promising and I'd like to be very optimistic about that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.